Hi YouTube, this is Frank from Architectural Aesthetics. Today in this video I'm going to talk to you about architectural photo manipulation. More specifically, I'm going to walk you through the various stages of how I created one of my projects so that by the end of this video you can understand the basic workflow of how to turn a photograph like this into something like this. So that's coming up next. The content of this video will include three components. First, I'm going to elaborate on the importance of narrative when doing a photo manipulation. Then I'm going to walk you through my planning slash brainstorming process. And last but not least, I'll be commentating on the time lapse video of me making my project and acquaint you guys with the bare bone fundamental techniques which I think can get you 80% of the desired result of your photo manipulation project. The first step is to establish a narrative for a project. One thing I learned from my undergrad architecture studio courses is that having an underlying narrative is always going to make your design stronger. So before delving into Photoshop, take some time and think about things like what kind of emotional impact your composition is going to impart when finished or what kind of story are you trying to tell with your composition. For this project, the image I'm working with is the Reichstag building in Berlin, Germany. This building was caught on fire in 1933, an incident linked directly to the rise of the Nazi party. The Battle of Berlin at the end of World War II further worsened the damage to the architecture. These two powerful images I encountered while doing my research on this building made me think about how such a stern looking masonry structure can be so easily destructed by human activities. Resonating with that, I decided to comment on architectural durability by reimagining the Reichstag building to be in a space and time where humanity had been completely wiped out and show that the structure is still able to withstand the destructive power of both time and nature. The second step in my workflow was composition planning, or what I call storyboarding. Photo manipulation can be a rather open-ended, non-linear process, so instead of wasting my time constantly revising my composition, my approach is to plan out my composition beforehand so I can concentrate on finding the right stock images and realizing my desired outcome through using appropriate techniques. In other words, I want to streamline my process so that I can work in the flow instead of having to backtrack. I achieved this by first doing a very quick sketch of the Reichstag building in my notebook, then I bring my sketch into Sketchbook Pro for further development. You can see that almost 90% of the elements in this sketch are retained in my final composition. The rest of it was largely improvised while I was working on it in Photoshop. Keep in mind that this stage is meant to be a rough sketch aiming to make the whole project more linear by planning on a desired composition, so do not worry about the drawing quality. The third and final stage was to realize my composition using Adobe Photoshop. I would say for a project like this, the bare bone essential techniques you need to know really boils down to three, which includes layer masks, blending modes, and hue and saturation adjustments. After bringing in some elements to my composition, I started working on the details. The first thing I did was to bring in a nice image of tree texture, put it over my tree silhouette and changed the blending mode to lighten. As you can see, this was able to mask the tree texture over the silhouette contour, making the tree look more convincing. My next action was to texturize the main structure. I did this by bringing in an image of masonry texture and overlaying it atop my building by changing its blending mode to darken and reducing its layer opacity. This gave the facade a believable old masonry look. Later I found the color of my foreground grass field too fresh to fit in the bleak color scheme I was going for. 
so I blended my grass images into my composition better by tweaking the hue and saturation sliders. To further intensify the ominous, eerie feeling of my composition, I chose to introduce a dark, cloudy sky. Seeing the sky texture alone is a bit monotonous, I threw in the thunderbolt and blended it in with the sky by changing the blending option to lighten. Realizing that there are still some human figures from seeing through the base image, I used the patch tool to remove them by draw a shape to first select them and patch the selected areas over with desired pixels. To exaggerate the destructive power of nature, I decided to plant a tree in the broken dome. This is done simply by first overlaying an image of a tree and then erasing the unwanted areas using a layer mask. To complete my rather vacant lower right corner, I created a cobblestone beach. Again, this is also done by using a layer mask to conceal unwanted areas. To make the river look more convincing, I used a combination of hue and saturation adjustment and layer mask to compose the riverbed, and I also introduced a still water texture to texturize the river. Lastly, I created the reflection of my main structure simply by duplicating the structure layer and flipping it vertically. Alright guys, so that's all I gotta say about our architectural photo manipulation for today. If you found this video informative, please take some time to comment and like this video. And most importantly, please subscribe to this channel so that we can grow as a community. And until next time, goodbye.